Today, behind darkened car windows, reality star couple Julie and Todd Chrisley reported to federal prisons. Todd in Florida to start serving his 12-year sentence, while Julie went to Kentucky to begin her seven years. The pair convicted last year of tax evasion and defrauding community banks out of over $30 million in loans, accused of using that money to fund a lifestyle they couldn't actually afford. But because they are in the limelight in this way, I think that the FBI and law enforcement is making an example out of them because everyone can see them. The exposure is that much bigger. It's a stunning fall from grace for the seemingly squeaky clean couple who flaunted their lavish lives while espousing Christian values for nearly a decade on their hugely popular shows, Chrisley Knows Best. I've made 95% of all the money that we've ever made in real estate. And its spinoff, Growing Up Chrisley. This right here absolutely freaks me out. Devoted viewers following the tight-knit family since their debut in 2014. It eventually became one of USA Network's most successful shows. This was a very wholesome family that we saw on television. So to see this family with this Christian background, that was very much the forefront of who they are have this scandal, it is just shocking. It's hard to believe. On a recent episode of his podcast, Chrisley Confessions, Todd defiant. If anyone even knew truly what has gone on in our life, the things that have, that have happened and how we still have to keep fighting, and then, and then they want to sit and talk about, you know, go pay your taxes. Dude, shut up. I've paid more taxes than you've ever earned. Now, real life has caught up with the Chrisleys, getting two of the stiffest sentences in memory for reality stars. Federal prosecutors saying the Chrisleys have built an empire based on the lie that their wealth came from dedication and hard work and calling them career swindlers. They spent that money on luxury cars, designer clothes, real estate and travel and used new fraudulent loans to pay back old ones. Todd and Julie pleaded not guilty and they put on a thorough defense and they're very you know, consistent in that belief that they had not committed any crimes. Right there, guys, right there. This latest scandal coming right on the heels of convictions for Real Housewives stars, Teresa Judice and Jen Shah, sparking the question, what lengths will reality stars go to to finance a life of luxury while hiding the truth about their lives? In a year, we probably spend 300000 sometimes more, just on clothing. The quirky Southern family includes 53-year-old Todd and his five children. Lindsay and Kyle from his first marriage, and Chase, Savannah, and Grayson with 50-year-old wife, Julie. The couple also helping raise Kyle's 10-year-old daughter, Chloe. Divorce! Family drama, the lifeblood of the show, including Todd's fights with his kids. Nothing about life is fair. Money and how to spend it, often a topic on the show. Exactly, we've got to run, like fast run, like short of escrow run. Todd originally made his fortune in real estate, but federal prosecutors say the family spent more than they made. The Department of Justice says the Chrisleys then began falsifying documents, securing over $30 million in loans from community banks in Georgia between 2007 and 2012. Prosecutors stating they lie through their teeth to get whatever they want when they want it. Targeting local banks, community banks, as opposed to larger national banks, there's less oversight. And they can show their, their celebrity status to some of these banks and say, hey, we're good for it. Even before Todd burst onto the reality TV scene, he had filed for bankruptcy in 2012. $20 million of his debt was relieved. When you file for bankruptcy, they can still take more money in, but as they're doing so, they're making a lot more money than they're reporting, and they're not paying their debts as they're supposed to. And as their reality stars were starting to shine, the Chrisleys failed to file or pay taxes from 2013 to 2016. Their trial also centered around Todd's former employee, Mark Braddock, seen here in his Zillow profile. Mark Braddock was the one that turned them in, and that really changed the course of the case. Braddock testified that he helped the Chrisleys falsify documents and said that his relationship with Todd went beyond business, alleging they'd been lovers. Telling the jury, quote, we had a personal relationship, intimate in nature. I pretty much would do what he needed to get done. And you know, it clouded my judgment greatly. Todd refuting the relationship in a conversation with his son Chase on the podcast, Chrisley Confessions. The thing that has, that has insulted me the most is that out of all of these 54 years, for me to finally be accused of being with a man, it would be someone that looked like Mark Braddock. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a toad. 
In court, the Chrisley's lawyers argued Braddock was just a former employee with an axe to grind. But prosecutors continued to hang their case on his testimony. So for prosecutors, the unfortunate reality for them is you want that witness with absolutely clean hands. But oftentimes, like you have here with Mark Braddock, they might not have bloody hands, but they have dirty hands. And so you have to rifle through how they got to that case and why the others are also guilty. The Chrisley's accountant, Peter Tarantino, will also serve three years in prison for tax crimes. The Chrisley's aren't the only reality show stars facing time behind bars. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw recently pled guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud in a scheme that mostly preyed on the elderly. She was just sentenced to six and a half years. The difference is in this case, Jen has eventually come forward and said, I'm guilty, whereas the Chrisleys have not said they're guilty. They are still claiming innocence in this. Meanwhile, Real Housewives of New Jersey cast member Teresa Judice served 11 months in prison on charges that she conspired to commit fraud with her then husband. It's like I'm in this nightmare I can't get out of. I 100% believe that there is definitely pressure to maintain a certain lifestyle for the screen, especially when you're on these reality shows. And it's not easy to do that if you don't have it. The couple spending their final days running errands near their hometown in Tennessee. Julie seen grocery shopping with her mom. Todd heading into the post office. In these photos from the DailyMail.com. Their youngest child, 16-year-old Grayson, and 10-year-old granddaughter Chloe will now be cared for by the older Chrisley children. Those minors are obviously going to be missing their parents during this time. They'll be able to communicate with them. The Chrisleys say they plan to appeal. These two individuals are just incredibly kind, they're incredibly smart, um, and I think they you know, don't deserve what's happened to them, but more importantly, I think they don't deserve the caricature that's been painted about them in the press. Lindsay Chrisley was the eldest daughter of the family, and she told me recently when I spoke with her for People that this whole situation has brought the family, quote, closer together, but it has been unfortunate that this was the situation that brought them back together. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.